It's a nice surprise, isn't it? Look at him, look like you do. Looks like a sherbet, but don't eat it. You. Good morning, everyone. If you have not already, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, ring a little bell, get notifications on my videos every Tuesday, Friday, and sometimes we do the Sunday video. As you can see, we are milking. Well, Brian is milking, and I need to turn the lights up. Turn the lights on for good visuals. I'll turn the lights on. Oh, cows coming out. I have fed calves. So this morning is Sunday. It's about quarter past seven, so we've done all the carvey jobs, and now we're on to the cowie jobs. I'm going to explain what was going on. So you can see that we have a group of cows. Herd of cows. This is our herd of cows. These are the cows that have been milked. They're just going past the side shed to clean it up. Just going to push these cows in here. Shh, shh, shh. Hi, Kelly. So, what has happened? Everyone knows that cows are my favorite thing about farming. They're amazing, they're great, they are the best things ever. We try and do everything to make sure these guys are just tickety-boo. Like 100% of dairy farmers, we have to look after these cows and we love them, they're amazing. Look at them, look how cute they are. Exactly. I'll give you a little bit of a timeline what has happened. We feel like they're not producing as much milk as they should do. The fertility dropped a little bit, but I didn't know if that was because I was in an island, COVID, X, Y, and Z. Um, obviously, we've got Luke here, who's in a fantastic job. That's definitely they're going to be 253, still in the trough, got to love them. And we feel like they're not producing much milk. They're getting fed quite well, they're getting fed the grass. Bit of meal, we haven't got Selco yet. The grass is a bit dry. That's a little bit of another conversation that I'll bring it in. Is it too dry? And my milker on Fridays who comes in and he just said, the cows are coughing a little bit. We'll just wait. Do you hear that? Two coughs. So I ring Susie. Hey Suze, my cows are coughing a little bit. What could it be? She said it could be two things. IBR or worm. We put a wormer into our cows every time we dry off. I kind of thought worms aren't going to be an issue. We've never really had an issue with worms in our cattle anyway. So I'm going to guess it's going to be IBR. We have IBR in the herd, which is really annoying. Our young stock years ago went to another farm and they had IBR. It's a respiratory disease. Actually, I'll just quickly Google. IBR is an acute contagious respiratory disease of cattle caused by bovine heptavirus type 1 BHV-1 commonly affected the respiratory tract and the re reproductive system. So the cows coughing a little bit makes sense. We have it. Normally I jab my cows about two to four weeks before they go in. It would be about on that, that, that time anyway. Normally don't have an issue. I know we vaccinate and it doesn't really affect them. And I feel this year it has. We've had real dry weather currently. It's going to change. Weather always changes. And normally I'll, I'll jab them up probably a little bit later than this. And bear them coughing and doing everything. I think that's what it is. We normally vaccinated anyway Susie's see see that did you hear that behind us so Susie's coming on Friday anyway so we're gonna do a couple of tests for IBR and a couple of tests for worms just to make sure but I'm gonna jab them for IBR because I know it needs doing I'm gonna show you what we do that's why I put them in two groups I've got one group here that I'll jab up it's just in the muscle it's super duper easy and then I've got another group there that I can jab up just so I don't lose count I know the cows quite well but I don't want to do it you just hear them coughing so this is a little bit of an issue and um, we want to get them jabbed up to make sure they are vaccinated against it. You can see they just cough in there. So I'll just show you what we do and how we do it. We have the syringe new needles, like there. Okay, so what you do is <laughs> super strong. Tell them to use the IBR one for 12 months, can't you? Needle bin. Clean needle in, twist it in. Okay, IBR is a live vaccine. Don't know why I did this, but you know what I mean? Syringe, take it out of packet. Boom, syringe, 50 doses. We've got 40 doses. I've got two 50s, um, two 10s, and four fives. Just because I've got to do the dry cows and they're in the field down there. So if there's only, say, 10 or 8, just take a little bit out of there, plug it into the pot that has a little bit of a, has like a, looks like a sherbet, but don't eat it. There we go. And now we've got there. Activate the vaccine. Jobs are good in. And what I'm gonna do, because I know we definitely have 100 cows, I'm gonna do the next one as well, because I'm a little bit behind. I wanted to make sure it was light this morning. It's a Sunday morning, it rained last night, a bit gloomy, and um, I wanted to get the light out there, as in the light of the sun, so you guys can see what I'm doing. Do this, again, same thing. That one in there, she got that, just sucks in there like that. We have 100 doses, 250s, got 100 in. 25 cows to do. Vaccines have to live in the fridge. That's why we took it out of the fridge. And when Oak Hill give it you as well in the bag, you give you ice packs. So the travel from home to keep nice and cool on a warm day. Great. Let's go back to take some cows. 
So cows that I've done, I just let go outside. Do a scout. Let go outside. One more dose, might as well just easy. So you can see that they don't like it just getting pressed on them, but the needle being sharp goes in, goes out. Job done. Let this cow out here as well. Go on, you love. Change the needle. Turn that right off. Get in the warm. Put it on. Make sure there's nothing left. And you got a full shot. Dead. Next 50 doses. Fill up. Great. A little bit easier here, this is what you can do. Yeah. Another 15 done. Take the needle off. It's easy enough. Just twist them on, take the cap off, ready to go. we go run out doses probably got which is about right 28 30 cows left the jobs are good in. that's it all these cows have been jabbed and now we're gonna wander off the ones that haven't been jabbed just kept behind the gate so i know where they are or are they not it's all about just keeping track of them making sure each one get jabbed when they walk across it's just nice and easy you can just i haven't scraped up this morning a bit mucky because it just rained for the first time for a long time and when it does that all the dry muck kind of gets wet so it needs a good scrape this morning. Brian's his last side and I'm pretty sure <laughs> yep this happened. Awesome some jabbing cows. Hello. What are you doing here? Oh wow you're lively and we've got a little lively. Oh, 297. What a fantastic looking car. You need to fold your feet over. Oh it's a nice surprise isn't it? Now I'm just gonna get back. I bet this is carved since six o'clock, it's about eight o'clock now. I just let cows walk in, I don't really go around them. Let them wander themselves, don't we? We do! <laughs> Look at the text I got at eight o'clock this morning. Event alert from Oak Hill Vets, IBR booster, annual IBR vaccination due. Holding. Due on the 10th of the 10th. And today is, what's well, the end of September now? That's how good Oak Hill are. So they text me, say, two weeks, you need your IBR vaccination. And we've done it. Amazing. We have. About 25 doses left to do. Make 25 up, have them in my pocket, ready to go. Take this out, 50, 10. We do it in these and I don't just have a 50 in there because after I think two hours, three hours, it becomes, so it doesn't become active anymore is the correct way of saying it. So that's why we do that. Great. These guys, these guys, go jabbing. Ah, one more. Cow that just carved. So that is your lot. We've got a little bit left, like three doses, which makes sense because we've got 127, 26 going through the parlor and we did 130 doses. Um, all the cows have gone down the bottom, which is amazing. They're super duper happy. We've got this left, which is gonna go to waste. That's why we have 50 of 50, 10, 10 and 10, and we can use five doses as well. It's cheaper to buy in the 50s than it is to buy in the fives per dose, if that makes sense. But this goes to waste because it will die and there's nothing else to give it to except from the dry cows, but I won't be able to jab them on my own. I know what everyone's gonna be asking. How is the calf and cow? The calf and cow is good. She's cleansed, she's fed, she's bed up. Got some water and the calf here 
is doing well, happy in a new bed of straw. We'll leave her in here for a while. She had a bolus just to kind of make sure she doesn't get milk fever. Calf's good, navel sprayed, everything is bang on. Hope you enjoyed this video. Just a little thing that we do on the farm. Like I say, Oak Hill are great. I've got a text and an email saying that I need to do this job, but that's job done. I'm happy with the result. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to YouTube channel, and we'll see you in the next one. Hopefully my cows are a lot better in the next up and coming weeks. If you want to see more of the vaccinations, the medical side and more handling cows and stuff, let me know in the comment section so I know you guys enjoy it and you like to see it because it would be amazing. <laughs> hey, Tills. <laughs> okay. Thank you, love. Thank you very much for watching. Please give it a thumbs up. And TP Merch is coming back out middle of October, end of October. So stay tuned for that. See you in a bit.